In the context of the coronavirus, if you're having to spend time in self-isolation, it's important you look after your mental health and well-being. We know that quarantine and self-isolation has the potential to impact on mental health and well-being, and there are some simple things that we, and others, suggest that you do to stay mentally well during this time. One, establish a daily routine, no matter how simple. Having a routine will help you feel that you've got some control back over the situation. Try to think about this period as an opportunity to get some things done at home perhaps that you've been wanting to do for some time but never had the chance to do. Two, stay in social contact with others. Keeping in contact with people via old fashioned telephone or social media or other methods. Ensure that the contacts you have through social media are personal though and not only just group. Having good social support is one of the strongest factors we know of to help maintain good mental health and well-being. Three, stay informed. Make sure that you've got the information that you need, but not more. Keep up to date, but only as much as necessary, and use trusted sources of information. For example, the Department of Health website and the Coronavirus Health Information Line. Limit the amount of media you expose yourself to whether that be TV, social media or newspapers. 24-7 news about corona isn't helpful and may make you anxious. Four, look after yourself. Eat a healthy diet, get some exercise, get enough sleep and continue to do the things that you actually enjoy. And finally, for those not in isolation, if you do know people who are, find ways to help them stay connected whether that's through social media, messaging, or any other way you can. It's really important that people feel personally connected, included, and supported. Phoenix Australia specialises in the area of major stressful and traumatic events, and these simple strategies can make a big difference in keeping yourself well. However, if you do experience significant distress, please contact your GP, and there are specific treatments that can be very helpful at this point.